got a new tip for the L5P. We're gonna powder coat it neon yellow. And then after that, I guess we could put a black decal on top. Today we're going to be axle dumping the exhaust on the L5P and putting an exhaust tip on it. I bought this exhaust tip online, it was polished and then Alex powder coated it for me in his office back there. And this is the neon yellow that will match the suspension of the L5P. I just thought it would be a nice little touch uh, towards the rear end of the truck since nothing back there is really powder coated. This should be just enough to give a little bit of the accent that I'm looking for because I really don't want to go overkill with neon on this truck. So it should look pretty good. So let's go ahead and install it. First thing was how to remove that. And then now we can install the exhaust tip. I let it hang down. Yeah. Turn it to your right. To my right, like that. How's that look? A little bit more. Right there. Right there? Right. Yep. Give her the beans. All good. Alright, let's start it up and see if we can tell the difference. And just from that initial startup and revving it, I myself can tell the difference between axle dumped and side exit. Obviously, got a bigger tip on it. It is gonna be louder and it rumbles louder, but also all the sound is going directly under and it's going to echo, hence louder sound. I love the way it sounds and I don't think it's too much at all. Once we take it on the interstate and do some driving, real life driving to see if it is going to be kind of annoying. Uh oh, I hear Matt. I hear a straight pipe Duramax. And I was right. We got Matthias with the dually build. We are switching out the headlights. That will be for another video. That will be for the dually build series that we are recording. So stay tuned for that. We got some custom headlights uh, for the dually. What do you guys think? We're going to go out and get some drive bys in a little bit and uh, compare with the side exit.
right, so this is the axle dump in cabin sound. Just driving around the neighborhood around 20 miles an hour, maybe 22, 25. You can definitely tell that the turbo spool is louder and obviously the exhaust itself is louder too. And that ex that eight inch tip makes it a little bit, uh, it makes it rumble a little bit louder too. And I can hear a little bit of the drone, but it's not bad at all right now. So we'll go ahead and come back once we are on the main road driving about 45 to 50. All right, we're getting on the interstate right now. We're going about 50. On, so far, the drone is not bad at all. I mean, it's not even really there, but the, with the five inch exhaust, the drone was there even with a side exit around 75, 80. So I would assume that it's gonna be just as bad, if not a little bit worse. But so far I'm going 65 and it is not bad at all. I rolled the windows up because I wanted to actually hear the, uh, the exhaust and not the wind noise. Oof, I came out here to give you guys a little update on the LOI, but it looks like it's raining. I'm still gonna give you guys an update uh, as much as I can. A couple of days ago, Alex and I actually installed some wheel lights on the LOI. I finally got myself to install some wheel lights. Obviously the Quadro JW Motorsports Co wheel lights. It's my brand, I should probably rep the wheel lights that I'm selling. So I needed to replace the brake pads. So I was like, let's go ahead and do that. All right, I'll check it out. So we're doing the wheel lights right now and uh, I've decided let's go ahead and replace the brake pads. And it was a good thing that I made that decision because yes, uh, check this out. Look at the difference between the new ones and the old ones. I feel like these are the original brake pads that came with this truck and this truck has 200 and 22,000 miles on it now so and then we discovered that the rear axle seal that I replaced about three weeks ago clearly I did something wrong either I didn't remove whatever from the old seal the new seal isn't sitting on there properly because it is leaking just as bad it, it's pretty bad like there was a big puddle when I got back yeah we'll have to remove the rear axle seal and try to figure out why it's leaking again but I do want to show you guys the wheel lights real quick. And as of right now, all of the rock lights on the LOI have been cut out. God, look how bright that is, even in the daylight. Look how bright these quadro wheel lights are. So I don't have any rock lights hooked up right now because let me get back in the garage. So right now, none of the rock lights on this LOI is hooked up because it's a combination of our prototype rock lights, uh, like our first batch that we ordered to test out, which they're bright, but they're not as bright as the ones we're selling now. Underglow part of it is McTuning's RGBW C2 rock lights that I installed because that's all I had at the time. We're gonna be removing all the lights from the LOI and replacing them with JW Motorsports Co. Rock Lights. Probably gonna do, try to debate if I wanna do premiums or the advanced beam because they are two different color tones. L5P has all premium rock lights and it's like cool white. And then the advanced beam is gonna be more of like pure white. A little bit, a little bit warmer, 
but it's gonna match the wheel lights a little bit better. Trying to decide what I wanna do. I'm thinking maybe advanced beam, but at the same time, I might do premium. Leave a comment below if you guys have any suggestions on what you guys think I should do. Uh, if you guys think I should do advanced beam, I'll do that. Yeah, because the main objective right now is to get all the lighting looking right. And then we gotta repaint a couple of components for the show that we have September 25th. It's gonna be in Augusta, Georgia. Mondo and Alex, three of us are hosting that show. Uh, we want to see some really cool trucks. So please, if you can make it out, sign up. I will put the link below on where you can sign up to bring your truck. But look how bright the quad bro wheel lights are. Look at that. Freaking bright. Also, here is the axle dump. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think because I am a huge fan of the way axle dumps look. Not everyone's gonna like it, especially since that tip is neon yellow and it is a very vibrant color. It's gonna catch a lot of people's attention. For that aspect, I really like it. And I know it's all preference. Some people like the side exit, some people like the axle dump. For the longest time, I was never a fan of the side exit at all, even putting an exhaust tip on it just because I don't know, to me it just looked too standard. It looked too very similar to how stock trucks look, you know what I mean? Every diesel that I've had, I think I axle dumped them. And then when I got the L5P, I was like, let's go ahead and try the side exit, see how I like it. Like I said, I'm just so used to having an axle dump. Even the sound wise, you know, I'm just used to having that louder rumble. I should be getting some goodies for the L5P soon, possibly a bigger turbo, or at least gonna do the intake horn. It does resonate that stock turbo sound louder. With the exhaust tip, we got something planned. My friend Stan is a, he knows how to fabricate stuff really well. He's a really talented guy. So he is going to, I, I asked him, I said, hey, if I gave you a design, can you make me a custom exhaust tip and possibly start making them for us in the area? And then if everything goes well, we're gonna start selling them. Keep on the lookout. We got some really cool stuff coming. We got some exciting stuff planned. I already talked to Stan today. He asked me some design questions. So I'm really stoked. I really like how that exhaust tip uh, turned out, but that is a very standard exhaust tip that you can buy. I'm trying to build something that's more custom, something that looks a little bit more unique than just a standard round exhaust tip. If you guys enjoyed this content, please, please give this video a thumbs up. YouTube has not been the best in terms of getting my videos out there, and I'm not the only creator that's kind of struggling with views right now. So it would mean so much if you guys can just like this video and please share this video with somebody else that's thinking about doing an actual dump or that needs to hear a comparison between actual dump and side exit. But that is it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much. I will see you guys next time. Peace. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>